Hello and welcome to another spreadsheet to tutorial for Excel beginners. Uh, it's been a while since the last tutorial but uh, I thought I'd put this one up to show you that I'm still around. Um, this time I want to show you how to uh, work with percentages on the spreadsheet or start to work with percentages and also introduce you to um, absolute cell references. Two very useful things I think. Um, if you watch the, mag the multiplication tutorial that I put up a few weeks ago, or I think a few months ago now. Uh, I did actually introduce absolute references on there, but this one covers it in a bit more detail, I think, so uh, hopefully you will find this one useful. What I'm going to do here is just give a scenario where, let's say, Fred has been asked to uh, work out what the percentage value of each of these income uh, totals here is for example we know that 2001 a space odyssey is has a nine pounds 75 but what is that as a percentage of 171 pounds 85 so uh, we're going to use excel to help us to find out the answer to that question first thing i'll do is put a new column title in and i'm simply going to type uh, percentage of total because that's what i want to find Press enter there. Now you'll notice it applies the, the formatting from the uh, previous column uh, automatically. That's because I've got it set up in my uh, tools. Um, I believe most versions of Excel, probably not the 97 version, but will do that automatically for you anyway. You can obviously reformat it if you didn't want that, but obviously Excel's guessed correctly that we do want to follow the same formatting standard. Another thing I'm going to do is just modify my title here, Fred's Video Classics, because obviously I want this to go right across now to column E. And we can just correct that very simply. If I just click into column E and drag across, it'll also select the the merge cells in columns A, B, C and D. And if I click the merge and center button again, you will see it automatically extends that uh, row to column E, that formatting. And one last little thing there, the this percentage of total doesn't have the full formatting on because I've got my uh, grid lines on here as you can see. So what I'm going to do is apply the formatting here in column D or D2 to uh, column E2. So click on D2, click the format painter, and click on E2 and that just copies the formatting across. I'll, um, I'll add the grid lines onto these other cells at the end as well, I'll probably do that to, just by using the the button up here, the uh, the borders button. Okay, let's do the calculation then. So we want to work out what the percentage value of the sales total 2001 Space Odyssey has earned, and we're going to do that right now. So, as with any calculation in Excel, you start with pressing the equals key on the keyboard. As soon as you do that, Excel knows that whatever follows will be part of a calculation. To work out a percentage value. Um, in this case we're taking obviously a value and working out what percentage it is of the total. The first thing you do is click on the value that you're interested in finding the percentage result for. So we're going to click on the £9.75 and then we're going to do a division calculation. So on the keyboard press your divide key and then finally click on the total of the amount there which is £171.85 in cell D13 and if I click on the tick to accept that calculation you'll see what happens we get a, 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 a decimal value 0 0.056736 which isn't very useful but we can quickly convert that to a percentage value that is useful by simply clicking the percentage button or the percentage style as they call it on the toolbar there and that gives us the result 6% and that is all there is to it I'll just run through, run through that one more time so if I click into E4, this time we'll find out what percentage of our total sales Ben Hur is uh, is making up. So equals to start. Click on the uh, sales value for Ben Hur, twenty-two pounds fifty. Divide on the keyboard. Click on the total value. Click your tick. Again, we get a decimal value, but click the percentage button to apply the formatting, and we can see that Ben Hur is thirteen percent of our total sales. Now I'm going to delete that Ben Hur value now, okay? Because I'm going to show you how to copy the formulas down. The first thing I'll do though is show you the wrong way of doing it. 
once you've created that first formula, you've seen how previously we've been able to quickly copy the formulas down and complete the rest of the, the rows. So let's say I decide that's all I need to do here, and I'm going to copy these formulas down to cell E11. Okay, and now when I release the mouse button, theoretically we should have all the results in. But when I release the mouse button, that isn't what happened, of course. It's, uh, it's a bit of a mess. Um, we have uh, Ben Hur is apparently 118% of the total. Citizen Kane is 60%, and Godfather is 140%, which is quite impressive. And then for the rest of the films, we've got all these strange error messages in um, value, division by zero, which isn't really what we want. And the question is, why is that happening? Um, and the answer is because we used relative cell references as we copied down, and we should have used an absolute cell reference in our formula. Um, that might sound like a bit of gobbledygook, but I'll try and explain it. If um, if we look at the value or the, the result in our cell E3, the one we started with, 6%, is the correct result, you'll see the calculation is D3 divided by D13. Now, the key thing here is that D13, I'll just highlight that by clicking, D13 comp contains the total £171.85. Without that value being included in the formula, we're not going to get the correct result. So right now, the only calculation in this column of calculations that has the correct formula is E3. Because if I click on E4, you'll see it's doing D4, which is, which is fine. We want D4 because that's the Ben-Hur value. But it's trying to divide by D14. So it's actually dividing by a value that's lower than the Ben Hur sales, nineteen pounds and nine p, and the same thing happens in E five. It's D five divided by D fifteen, which is actually our maximum value there, which isn't really what we want. And then if we go down, you can see it goes D sixteen. And then when we get to this value, these error messages, it's trying to divide by D seventeen, which has got nothing in it. And the same applies to D eighteen, etc. So what we're going to do now is fix it so it works correctly. So I'm going to first of all select those values that aren't working and press delete to get rid of those. Um, the basic layout for an absolute reference is simply the same formula, so it'd be D13, except it's got dollar symbols around the, uh, the different parts of the, the cell reference, the column and the row. And I think it's easier to show it if I show it from scratch. I'm actually going to delete that E3 calculation. We'll start again. So press equals, click on the £9.75, press divide, click on the total. Now this time I'm not going to enter it. One final step is to press the F4 key, the function key F4. Press that and it puts dollar symbols in front of the column reference D and in front of the row reference 13. What that will do is simply lock that formula, no matter where I copy it, onto D13. The first part, the D3, will change as I go down, as you'll see. So I'll go D4, D5, which is great because we want that to happen and focus on each individual movie or each movie as it copies down. But we always want it locked on that total value in D13. So I'm going to accept that by clicking the tick and then I'm going to copy those formulas down or that formula. And this time, there we are, it works. Okay, and that is why you use absolute cell references. That's a very typical example. There are plenty of other examples. And you see as I click on these different formulas, the first part, which focuses on the, the movie income, the individual movies, change from D3 to D5, D6, etc. But the second part, which focuses on the total value, will obviously always look at D13 because that's what it needs to do in order to give us the correct result. So that's absolute references. Hope you found that useful. The last thing I'll do before we close is just to uh, format those cells there. I'm going to highlight them and then apply my grid or all borders option. And that just tidies that up, click away. So there we are. So now we know what percentage of the total each movie is representing. And uh, I could apply conditional formatting, so it magically highlights it for us. But uh, if we quickly scan down, they probably see that we know that uh, Casablanca is already a highest income value, so logically it's also the highest percentage value, and it represents 14% of the total. Okay, in the next video I'm going to talk a bit more about percentages, different types of calculations you can do to find out uh, different bits of information, surveys, that kind of thing. Um, but I hope you found that useful, and I'll see you next time.